everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to sit down at the Casa and have a little chit chat with you guys. The reason why I wanted to bring up today's topic is because there is just a pandemic occurring in the hair industry right now and in the beauty industry in general that has to do with unrealistic expectations. Technology is an amazing thing, okay? Social media, all that stuff is an amazing thing. It's wonderful to bring in inspiration, pictures, things like that, but I think that there is also, like I said, a pandemic of unrealistic expectations. In the past month, I have dealt with two of the most difficult people that I've ever dealt with in my life in terms of work. That kind of made me want to film this video today. You guys know I have to break down the science behind everything, okay? So, <laughs> unrealistic expectations boil down to three different things. It boils down to the starting point, like your existing hair, your texture, your color, whatever, money and time. A big trend that is going on right now currently, I feel like it's kind of dying out, but one big trend is granny hair or gray hair. I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. I feel like that started maybe in 2014 or something like that and there are still people coming in who still want to have gray hair. In order to get a lot of these colors, you have to bleach the hair to the point that it is almost white, okay? And even white hair is a thing too. A lot of girls come in and they have really dark hair or they're brunette or whatever. Most of the time it's brunettes for whatever reason. I don't know what the ratio is in the world <laughs> of brunettes to blondes, but for some reason, it's always a brunette. I wanted to quickly interrupt myself as I'm editing to mention that I'm only using hair color as one example, but this can translate um, and it applies to hair cutting, hair styling, et cetera, et cetera, anything that you would go into a salon to do. The point that I'm trying to make is that a lot of girls will see these pictures on Pinterest or on Instagram, and most of the time they're photoshopped, you guys, okay? A lot of these pictures out there are photoshopped, and a lot of hairstylists will even photoshop their pictures to make the color pop more. That's their prerogative, that's fine, but then it creates issues for hairstylists like myself who are just trying to do our jobs and people just think like, oh, I can have white hair, just casually, okay? In terms of time and unrealistic expectations, it can be time short term, like, oh, um, I need this color service done and I need to be done in an hour. Okay, that is an unrealistic expectation and that is putting pressure on your professional, but I'm gonna address the professionals towards the end. That, or time in terms of when you find a beautiful picture of some platinum, light blonde hair on Pinterest, you, first of all, you don't know what that particular person started with, and then also you don't know how many sessions that person had to go through to get there. Okay, so it, not everything can be done in one sitting and you have to have an open mind to the in-between options. In relation to time, let's talk about money. Time and money go hand in hand in, I guess in life in general, but in, particularly in the salon world, okay? If you get your hair bleached out and you go gray, okay, it's beautiful. A week later, two weeks later, maybe three weeks later, it's washed out and you're like, oh my gosh, I paid $300 to get my hair gray and it's all washed out. You have to be prepared to come in consistently every couple of weeks and get your hair toned. Hair color is maintenance, okay? Hair is not just, you see a picture, you go in one time, you just pay this small fee and then that's it and then you, you know, you ride off into the sunset with your beautiful, uh, what's that girl's name from Game of Thrones? Daenerys? Daenerys? Yes, okay? That's another thing that's in style right now, okay? Yes, girls, it costs money. And just because you're coming in a week later for another session doesn't mean you don't have to pay for that. This is me just coming from a place of love, honestly, coming from an honest place. I really want to start having these conversations because I feel like the salon world is one thing and we have our inside scoop and our inside things and things that like our hopes, dreams, fears, like rants, whatever about the public. The public has their stuff about us and I really want to mesh the two worlds so that way we understand each other 
and I wanna bring back the importance of going to a salon and to a professional. Now for this portion of the video, I do want to address the professionals because at the end of the day, some people, they don't have unrealistic expectations because they just wanna be difficult or whatever. A lot of times people just do not know. Since my channel has been growing and I get a lot more questions, I get so many questions about hair. It has really dawned on me how many people don't know basic things about hair. And that's not that's not even shade. Like I'm being I'm being serious. Because for me and also professionals, if you're watching this, you can look at anybody anybody on the street and you would know right off the bat, like, oh yeah, get a hydrating shampoo and conditioner, trim your hair this often, and do this color formula. Like just it it's just instant like that. But a lot of people, even though they've had hair on their heads for years and years and years, they just don't know how to deal with it. A lot of people just seriously do not know basic things about hair, like basic hair care. Like I'm talking about shampooing, conditioning, blowing out, stuff like that, let alone color and chemistry and how all that stuff works. It is your job to educate them and to tell them the truth. Don't assume that people know that they're being unrealistic, so you have to educate them and tell them, this is the way that hair works, this is the way hair color works, this is the way, you know, if you do wanna um, eventually achieve this hair length or this hairstyle or this haircut, these are the steps that we're gonna to have to take realistically, okay? Because when you tell somebody from the beginning, one of three things is gonna happen. They're gonna take the time and take the money to get to where they wanna go. They're gonna say, um, screw you, you don't know what you're talking about, then go on to the next stylist um, who, I mean, multiple things can happen. <laughs> or they're gonna choose a, another option as an in-between option or like just something else that they, ne they didn't necessarily come in for but they're willing to settle for. Does that make sense? So it's our jobs to let people know um, like that picture is photoshopped, um, that girl, she's a natural blonde so it's kind of impossible for me to do that on your hair but we have different options. Be upfront about the truth about what the situation is so that way you can save yourself a headache later on. Okay, we deal with enough shh as hairstylists. Save yourself the headache, save yourself the stress, okay? All right, so I wanna wrap this whole topic up because I can go on and on and then it kind of bleeds into other topics which I will have videos for in the future. But yes, clients, please don't have unrealistic expectations. And when you go see a hairdresser and you bring pictures, understand that the first time you go to a hairdresser, it is like pressing the reset button on your hair, okay? And maybe the first time around, sometimes you can get that color, your goal color, okay? If you're dealing with virgin hair usually, and you know, it's just a simple job, get it over with, whatever, you can get your dream hair in one session. But in most cases, you are going to have to go for several different appointments. And that doesn't mean that the person is a bad hairdresser. I am currently working on a video called how to find a good hairdresser. But I did want to give the disclaimer that just because you go to a hairstylist once and your hair isn't, you know, some sort of Pinterest worthy hair, that doesn't mean that they're a bad hairdresser. It could mean that your hair just has to, I don't know, grow out or color white, whatever, whatever the case may be, okay? Depends on the starting point. Also be aware that a lot of these pictures out here are photoshopped and it puts a lot of pressure on us hairstylists because sometimes you don't know if a picture is photoshopped, sometimes it is obvious. But sometimes it puts pressure on us like, oh my gosh, this stylist was able to achieve this amazing color in one session. But then they don't leave little sidebar notes like um, this is photoshopped and also this cost $900 and we did it over the course of five sessions and blah, 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 blah. Or this is a wig that they're wearing, okay? Because that happens too. Also, to wrap it up, for professionals, be realistic with your clients about time, money, and what their hair can take, okay? Don't be afraid to be honest and upfront from the get-go. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me comments down below if you're a stylist, have you dealt with anybody who had unrealistic expectations, or as a client, have you honestly ever had unrealistic expectations? Leave a comment down below. I read all of my comments. I tried to reply to most of them. Let's have a conversation, okay, you guys? And if I'm not here, I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll leave all that stuff down below. 
And other than that, you guys will see me in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.